Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Hell no Jeff Sessions just did something sick to help Obama's IRS head. Do you all remember when Donald Trump was ready to fire Jeff Sessions over his refusal to go after Hillary Clinton and Obama? Well, it's starting to look like Trump may have been onto something. Today, Attorney General Jeff Sessions ordered the Justice Department not to prosecute Obama's old IRS chief Lois Lerner. Many of y'all probably recall back in 2013 when it turned out that Ms. Lerner was using her position with the IRS to target Obama's political opponents. Basically, if you were a Republican organization, she would declare you a criminal and send the cops after you. Well, the case finally made it to the Justice Department and do you know what Sessions did? He pulled a James Comey and let her go. The official statement from the DOJ on the case read, the department's investigation uncovered substantial evidence of mismanagement at the IRS, we had not uncovered evidence of criminal intent by any IRS official. The chairman of the tax policy subcommittee, Republican Peter Roskam, was very upset with Sessions' decision. The decision not to prosecute Lois Lerner is a miscarriage of justice. On top of Ms. Lerner's actions against taxpayers denying tax-exempt status to groups for political gain and failing to protect taxpayer information, the department's response blatantly ignores our most troubling finding, that Ms. Lerner intentionally misled federal investigators in a flagrant violation of the law. Now, to be fair, this would have been a very hard criminal case to win. Yes, she did do something unforgivable and treasonous. However, there was not a lot of real evidence to convict her. So there you have it. Y'all got all the facts about the case, now it's up to you to decide, did Sessions make the right choice? Unbelievable nobody noticed the insane thing Trump did to Paul Ryan at dinner last night. It's kinda amazing how the media will spend days talking about Trump's ice cream but when he has a secret dinner with Paul Ryan they are totally silent. Maybe the reason is that they don't want people to know when President Trump is doing a good job. Heck, just last night he managed to strategize for the next coming months on a lot of the important stuff. Tax Reform Hurricane Relief Funds and Support for Harvey and Irma The 2018 Budget Raising the Debt Ceiling, Funding the Government Of course, it becomes painfully obvious that one thing was missing from their little list of fall priorities, Obamacare. Now, it's hard to imagine the president is just gonna drop the whole health care crisis after how hard he worked to fix it a few months ago. However, it looks like he may be waiting till after 2018 when he has some new Republicans to work with. The official statement from the White House on the meeting between Trump and Ryan was, President Trump and Speaker Ryan had a productive working dinner to review the fall legislative agenda. The priorities discussed were tax reform, the FY18 budget, funding for Hurricanes Harvey and Irma, raising the debt ceiling and the continuing resolution to keep the government funded. The president looks forward to working together with Congress on bipartisan solutions to improve the lives of all Americans. However, Trump deserves credit where credit is due. He is clearly focusing all of his personal efforts on the hurricanes as well as North Korea. That is how a good leader acts in times of crisis. If the media won't share out Trump's big dinner with Paul Ryan then fine. Y'all have a bigger voice than them anyways. Help get this shared out everywhere before the media hides another major story. Reporter tried to interrupt her, so Sarah Sanders shut him with this one epic sentence. Reporter tried to interrupt her, so Sarah Sanders shut her up with this one epic sentence. Sarah Sanders doesn't take any crap. She is a champion. When reporters try to run her over, she hits them back harder. Let me finish my sentence, Sarah Sanders said in response to questions on DACA. 
she had to reiterate her point to reporters when she said that there will be no changes to DACA for six months and that DACA recipients won't be targeted unless they break the law. Sarah Sanders does these press briefings all the time and it can't be easy. Let's show her some love by spreading this around and commenting thanks Sarah so that she sees it. We need to keep showing her support because the mainstream media keeps on trying to tear her down. Thanks for reading, y'all. Fox News just fired one of their top reporters for something heartbreaking. Over the last year, conservative media has come under attack by the left. In an effort to silence voices from the right, they have been terrifyingly successful. Through accusations of sexism and assault, they have claimed the jobs of former Fox News boss Roger Isles, host Bill O'Reilly, and attempted to take down Sean Hannity, as well. While their efforts to silence Hannity failed, this week, they claimed one more victim, Eric Bowling, host of Fox News The Specialists. Fox News Channel is canceling The Specialists, and Eric Bowling and Fox have agreed to part ways amicably, the network said in a statement obtained by The Hill. The separation comes after accusations that Bowling sent lewd text messages to female employees several years ago. While the accusations are serious, it's pretty suspicious that only conservative media personalities have befallen this fate. What do you think? Was Bowling's firing legitimate? Or was it a just another attack against a conservative media giant? Sound off in the comments. What Nancy Pelosi does in this video is going viral for all the wrong reasons. It's horrible. On Thursday, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer told a large group of dreamers on the lawns of the Capitol lawns that they are as American as the Founding Fathers. You make American more American, Pelosi said. Pelosi, please know that when you are called dreamers, you're not only dreaming for yourselves, but you're dreaming the way our founders would want Americans to dream. And again, you make American more American. With your commitment to your own success, but also to your families and making the future better all around. On Tuesday, Trump ended the Obama era program that granted work permits to illegals. A.G. Sessions even insulted Obama when he announced the ending of the program on Tuesday. There were 22 times that Obama said that he couldn't accomplish amnesty by himself. He then used his executive authority to make it happen anyway. Obama ignored the rule of law and then left it for Trump to fix. Why is it that the Trump has to fix all their problems and then take the blame for it? Expose Pelosi for the fake that she is. Since 1990, Pelosi has raised more than $9.2 million for the Democratic Party. We need to stop that from happening. Once Americans see that she likes illegal immigrants more than Americans then they will know the true Pelosi. Share this. This black woman walked up to Maxine Waters' office, and suddenly all hell broke loose. This black woman walked up to Maxine Waters' office, and suddenly all hell broke loose. Maxine Waters only says three of the following things, Russian collusion, Nazi, KKK and impeach 45. On Thursday, a California-based Trump supporter named Chael Temple called out Maxine Waters for abandoning the African-American community. Chain Temple of We the People Rising, a California black Trump supporter, slams the corrupt, racist Congresswoman Maxine Waters, D. Los Angeles, who has done nothing to help the black community, but does everything to help illegal aliens, reports activist author Christopher Shaper. We have had enough. She needs to go. She needs to resign or we need a special election. We need to get her out. She needs to be recalled. We want her out. She's not representing her constituents. She's not representing the people. She's not representing American citizens in the state of California, she's got to go. Share this if you think Maxine Waters is off her meds. I mean. This lady thinks that the alt-right is out to kill her. 
What can we do to deal with the KKK, the white nationalists, the extremists, the alt-right? They're on the internet, they're Breitbart. If you look at the YouTube, you see how much they want to kill me and others. What can we do? That's an actual quote from this idiot.